Now it's time for the first round of uh, the starter pitch. So those of you doing it, be ready. First up uh, from Radiant Games, Vignir Ört Guðmundsson. The stage is yours, my friend. You have 90 seconds. Hey, I'm Vignir from Radiant Games, and we create playful learning experiences that empower children. You know, we see so many kids that just love playing in the iPad or PlayStation, but find it very boring to turn off those devices uh, and finish their homework. And why? Why are learning experiences generally so boring compared to standard entertainment? Now, Radiant Games wants to solve this problem by creating 21st century learning experiences that are fun and entertaining. And so currently we're building a logical puzzle game for tablets called Box Island that sparks children's interest in the fundamentals of coding. And let me give you two beliefs on why we're focusing on coding. Number one, coding is becoming the 21st century literacy. And this is sparking a high demand uh, for games and applications that spark the interest in that subject for children. And number two, the game-based learning market is about to favor coding games. So currently, language learning and math are dominating the market, but there are relatively few coding games out there, and their uh, quality is below average. So there's a high demand for coding, but the market is still small, and we see a huge opportunity in that. And we're not just creating Box Island. We're building an architecture to create multiple games, but also applications uh, to connect to uh, physical toys, such as drones and robots. We're extremely excited to announce a soft launch of Box Island here in Iceland this July. And we aim to close a seed round uh, in the months following the launch. We are Radiant Games. We empower children to reach their full potential. Thank you. Next up, the handball legend. From Kiwi, Olavur Stefansson. Hi. Um, alongside 20 years of playing professional handball, I, I uh, studied uh, literature, philosophy, and, and psychology, uh, which I hope to um, I, I hope to use that. Okay, I have to start again. Sorry. This is this is so much harder than playing. Um, <laughs> Okay, so, so the thing is that I, I mean, I, I studied this for 20 years, uh, but always uh, after the exams, I had really, I, I didn't remember anything. So, um, so I, I created Kiwi. And uh, Kiwi turned out to be a solution to a bigger problem dealt with by a bigger audience than I myself imagined. Um, Kiwi um, is uh, for students. It is a notebook of the future. And it allows uh, children and students to create school projects for every subject they want, um, you know, uh, using whichever media they prefer. But the groundbreaking thing about Kiwi is that it turns those school projects into computer games. And when playing these computer games, played from their own personal data, the user becomes a fast thinker, not like me. You know, a fast thinker, always able to incorporate their knowledge into real life situation, which then strengthens their confidence and character, hopefully. And that's our mission. Thank you. And last but not least, in this uh, first lot, from Mimi Creations, Hanna Kristín Skaftadóttir. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I gave some of you the books here, Ingrid. Thank you for yesterday. Nice meeting you. To all the speakers, thank you. Distinguished guests. Language. The ability to acquire and use complex systems of communication. With an exponentially increasing demand for growth in tech, we are facing an ever more widening gap in human connection. 
Having a son with a language impairment taught me that communication is so much more than words. It's touch, it's hand gestures, eye contact, smell, and just using everything each one of us is capable of. Communicating and connecting, it has no borders, it has no boundaries, and is in no way written in stone. As a parent, having searched all over for material, I was aware of the great demand for aid to help children in understanding and communicating with their parents. Mimi Creations has published now seven books that present Mimi, this animated fig figure or creature, who uses baby keyword signing to help young children to enhance their speech. Moving towards animation and with the help of technology, we want to bring people closer together. So research shows without doubt that keyword signing enhances the development of speech for all, but specifically for those in need of assistance. So daily, now, we're reaching thousands of children in Iceland, but we want to branch out and see Mimi among millions of children globally. So please, join us in the great quest for creating more depth and more heart in communication. Thank you. Um, first up, Pauline McCarthy, Menopause Morph. Hi. Currently today, there are 25 million women going through menopause. By the year 2030, there will be 47 million each year going through menopause. These symptoms typically start in the 40s. People think it's an older age, but it's actually in your 40s. And this includes uh, night sweats, hot flashes, irritability, memory loss. Can't remember the rest. <laughs> I am... Um, and during this time, a lot of women actually lose their jobs because of these symptoms, or they get divorced. And I think it's a real waste of their expertise for them to lose their jobs at this time. So I'm be starting this um, platform to inspire menopausal women to support them, to get them through the menopause, so that we can keep this expertise in society. It was really inspiring to hear about all these lady things earlier. Um, Woman, Hatla was saying that 80, women have 85% of the spending power. Can you imagine how much products will be sent on menopausal women that want to get rid of their hot flashes? You know what I mean? There's a lot of money to be made there. So in this platform, uh, I will be having a podcast, a weekly podcast explaining, helping women through their menopause, helping them, the husbands and the wives and everything through the menopause. Um, CDs, DVDs, retreats will bring people to Iceland where they can cool down. Um, and, you know, basically make a support community for women because it's not just a medical thing, it's an emotional thing, it's a transformational thing. And eventually we want to help women start their own businesses because they've had enough of looking after other kids and looking after kids have left the nest. Now they can start their own business. Um, and th this problem, it's not just for older women. Every single woman in here, no matter what age you are, you will eventually go through menopause. And men, you've got wives, sisters, workmates, you know. So and a, a, a male friend of mine, he said to me, we have to put up with the crazy bitches. So you have to, I think it's a really good behooves us all to come together and support this woman that they can blossom and give all their... Um, experience to the world. So if you want to talk about menopause or know have somebody that needs help, come and talk to me at one of the breaks, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Scott. Shigeoka. Is it Saga? Saga. I'm gonna actually ask for help, can you grab a guitar? Is that cool? My guitar? Yeah, yeah or oh. that guitar. Okay, so Saga, um, three, I'm in my festival takedown gear three days ago. We just had a music and arts festival on a farm on Stuck City. And so it's called Saga Fest. And Saga is all about creating a way of being. It's about creating a culture. And we do that through experiences, through creating spaces where people can meet others at where they are and be vulnerable. And I'm going to do a little freestyle rap right now, if you're willing to do a little yeah. jam out yeah. and to sort of explain the pitch. And I'm going to need your help. In Icelandic, tak is thanks. So I'm going to need everyone to start clapping your hands like this. And then you're just going to start saying tak at your own pace. You can say tak to tak tak, tak to tak tak, tak to tak tak, 
talk to talk, talk, talk. Create the beat. We're gonna okay, and then we're gonna have a little bit of guitar going. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, one love saga. Here we go. Oh. Rolling through my vision, it's my mission, it's a critical vision Gotta say this, it's precision when I get down with my decision To pitch right here, it's Saga Come and join me on this journey of love Hey, here we go, one more time Start up ice and so damn fine Gratitude and here we go, it's my mission It's amplitude, it's Saga uh. I only got 90 seconds, so that's it Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. Yeah. Cheers. Karl Maur Lárusson. Anitar. My name is Karl Maur, and I'm the CEO and founder of Anitar. And what is Anitar? Anitar stands for Animal Intelligent Tag Reader. What Anitar does is we make it possible in a simple and effective way to track and register companion animals, livestock and any products coming from a farmer. Today it is both time consuming and complicated to search through and register any animal data. Through our app Anitar we make it simple and easy to find and or store information in any animal database around the world. We provide the market with a solution that is so simple that anyone with a smartphone can easily work through it in seconds. Our product is a new type of RFID tag reader that connects to an app on your smartphone to make a powerful combination. We make Anitar affordable, small and simple by using everything we can from the smartphone, all the way from the battery to the screen including the NFC technology. Our customers are all those who own animals, work around them, any type of food protection, or anyone who would like to know the origin of their food. Iceland is a great place to test and further develop our product, but otherwise we do not see any limitation on where it can be used or by how many. Thank you. This has been Anitar, and have a good day. Um, so, from Omex, Michael Wilson. You ready? <clears throat> Hello, I'm Mike, and uh, I'm from Canada, actually. My company is called Omex. And so, Omex helps you feel uh, as best as possible and be as healthy as possible uh, with a urine test that lets you see what's going on inside your body. We measure hundreds of different indicators, so all kinds of different information, and there's a lot that you can do with it. For example, if you're an athlete, you could use our test to find a, def a deficiency that's affecting your endurance. Or you could use our test to measure the changes in your body when you're trying a new diet and see if it's really working. Um, the test is really easy to use. We send a kit to your home, you collect a, a urine sample there and send it back to us through the mail. And then you can access your results uh, through our app online. Uh, in our app, you can also integrate your fitness tracking and diet tracking information, even DNA. And you, we put all that together to give you a really complete picture of your health. We also suggest goals, improvements you could make. And then you can use the test uh, in multiple times to track the improvements and track your progress. Um, right now we're selling our product in Canada and we're actually raising uh, some funding right now to expand our team and expand our lab. And uh, you can go learn more at omx.io. And thanks very much for having me here, especially thanks to Startup Iceland. Thank you. Kári Thór Unason. Authentic. Used condoms clogging your toilet. You have mayonnaise and God knows what else smeared all over your furniture. And you got puddles of alcohol ruining your hardwood floor. 
This is what a Canadian couple came home to recently after renting out their apartment on Airbnb. People that rented used fake IDs and stole the credit cards to rent the apartment. And they weren't found for three weeks. We actually think that the way we do business today on marketplaces is a bit me medieval. And we think that in two to three years, we'll look back and compare it to meeting a total stranger in a dark alleyway where you give him your money and he gives you back an unmarked box that you can't even open until he's vanished into the dead of night. It's this risk and uncertainty that we're solving with authentic IDs. Authentic is a automatic identity verification platform that works across multiple peer-to-peer -peer websites to increase trust and transparency, leading to more revenue for the marketplaces. In short, you, uh, the marketplace user, he uses our tamper-proof authentic app to take two pictures, a selfie of himself, and then he takes a picture of uh, his passport or driver's license. Uh, we use sophisticated uh, facial recognition algorithms to compare those two faces, along with 50 other security checks to make sure that the person actually is who he says he is. If everything uh, checks out, we issue that person an authentic ID that he can use while doing business online. Thank you. Up next, Magnus Bergson from Givaro. Uh, hello, uh, Magnus from Givaro. Um, we are now three years into the development of our software, and we are about 23 people. Uh, a lot of us came from CCP. Uh, what we have done is create uh, a software and web services for online poker players. So they use our software when they are playing poker, and it tracks, analyzes, and helps them actually just play better poker. Um, we are offering some unique technologies in our software. It's the first and only real-time search software on the market. Um, and uh, we are now in beta. Uh, we are about two months away from commercial release. Uh, we have currently about 15,000 users using our software. Um, uh, we just broke our first one million hand day, where basically we had users record over one million hands in, in a single day. So the usage is quite heavy, um, more so than we expected. And what we are, are, are doing now, we've, we have over 100 investors. Uh, what we're doing right now is looking for an investor to take us to the next level, uh, help us grow to the next level and beyond that. And that's the story of Giro. Thank you. And uh, from Think Geo Energy, Alexander Richter. Ah. Hi, my name is uh, Alexander Richter. I'm the founder of uh, Think Geo Energy. I, I am really passionate about geothermal energy and the opportunities it presents to the global energy market. Uh, considering that the geothermal energy industry has been greatly underrepresented in media and in, in the general perception, uh, we built an online news platform for the industry to help the industry to grow, and it's now the leading news platform for the industry. Today, we're the key resource of on global news, on geothermal development worldwide, on companies, news, and events. Too small for traditional media, geothermal really didn't get the attention. And that has allowed us to build a platform for a niche market uh, industry that really kind of helped us grow and, and help also to support the industry. We're now building uh, Think Geoenergy out as an online marketplace uh, for the global geothermal energy industry. We've so far kind of lived on advertisement and consulting um, income, which has allowed us to build a sustainable and a profitable niche market business. With our narrow focus, we are reaching the complete value chain of the industry, from individual students and researchers 
to consultants and, in, uh, and investors to CEOs of big energy companies. This uniquely focused audience provides a great opportunity for us for further growth and scaling of our business. We've nationalized our site in Spanish. Uh, we're building a Turkish and Indonesian uh, uh, platform and positioning Think Geology now as an online marketplace that will help strengthen and grow our industry and provide us a great revenue opportunity for us, built upon, upon services like research, education, events, and much, much more. Thank you. And from uh, Crowbar Protein, Stefan Atli Torotsen. Thank you. Hi. Crowbar Protein is a company that produces food products made with edible insects. Our first product is an insect-powered protein bar that is free from soy, dairy, gluten, and peanuts. We call it Jungle Bar. And Jungle Bar is made with uh, all sorts of fruits, seeds, uh, chocolate, and our special insect ingredient, it, uh, cricket flour. So why are we using insects? Well, for one, whether it's land, water, feed, or CO2 emissions, no animal protein compares to insects when it comes to sustainability. Number two, insects are extremely nutritious. The cricket flour we use in Jungle Bar is full of protein, minerals, and vitamins. It's the perfect superfood. And number three, and most importantly, insects make our products taste amazing. Over 2,500 people have sampled our prototypes and given us great positive feedback. So people are willing to have a taste, but will they buy our products? That's a question. Uh, two weeks ago, we finished our Kickstarter campaign where we were able to sell over 9,000 jungle bars uh, and raised 28,000 US dollars. So our mission is to normalize edible insects in the Western world. And we believe that Jungle Bar is the right product to do so. So if you want to know more, please come and find me and let's talk about bugs. Thank you. And from Sway, Arnar Jonsson. Hello. My name is Arnar, and I'm the CEO of Sway. Uh, Sway is a social payment platform for young person and, and students to uh, make uh, shared payments and make payments also. Uh, Sway is an app. Uh, you, you, you gather your friends in this app. It's a social network. Uh, we focus around photos, and focus is the key thing. For the, for the past year, we've been working on this app. Uh, we're launching it in App Store. Uh, we launched it last week. Uh, and, and our goal is in around uh, six months to uh, go abroad to the UK. The market there is quite underdeveloped. Um, we have built up relations around, around, these, uh, around this project. So we'll be uh, able to be functional across borders and, and that will make our app a social app with a great focus on, on payments of course and, and photos uh, working across borders. Thank you. And last but not least, Joe Sigurdsson from Crankwheel. Hi, my name is Joe. If you've ever had a customer on the phone, I'm sure you've had this thought. It would be so much easier if I could just show this to them. Crankwheel lets you do exactly that in 10 seconds or less. Show the customer as if they were sitting right beside you in front of the same PC. Zero hassle, any device, no install needed. Or maybe you've been that customer in a frustrating phone call where it's so hard to follow what the agent is trying to tell you. How much easier would it be 
if they could just show it to you. Crankwheel makes this work, even if the customer is using an ancient PC or an outdated smartphone or has a very slow network connection. For the first time ever, in just 10 seconds, the agent can always be sure the customer is seeing exactly what they're trying to show them, and the customer never needs to feel inadequate for not being the most technically savvy. It just works. The number of people who spend their entire day on the phone with customers is staggering. The US alone is served by four million call center employees. This is just a fraction of our market. Crankwheel will be available this fall once we exit a closed beta with a few dozen selected customers. If you're a potential customer or you just want to follow along, may I suggest you do something right now? Take your smartphone out of your pocket, go to crankwheel.com and press the big orange request beta access button. This will get you onto our mailing list so you can track what we're doing. Thank you. Just, ah.